Hey YouTube. Indiana Piper 36 here. Hope everybody's having a good Friday morning. Smoking my brand new Sabinelli Church Warden. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. And in it, I have Lane Limited 1Q. <clears throat> Read the back here. A refined blend of golden and fire cured Cavendish and a hint of vanilla, 1Q one, one has been one of the most enjoyed bulk tobaccos for decades. There you go. Has a uh, really nice, I really like the label. Uh, <clears throat> more importantly, it's a very nice aromatic. I'm not a big aromatic smoker, but this one, <clears throat> excuse me, this one I really enjoy. I went a few days ago, went on a trip with a good friend of mine. Down, down south of here to uh, Bloomington, Indiana, where I bought my pipe here. <coughs> we went to the Burley and the Briar. Or no, excuse me, the Briar and the Burley. <laughs> it's a uh, gentleman's shop, and more importantly, a pipe tobacco shop. Um, really nice place they had hundreds and hundreds of pipes um, <clears throat> just about any major pipe maker manufacturer um, they had um, wonderful place they had uh, <clears throat> Everything from men's shaving supplies to tobaccos to pipes, pipe tools, pipe stands, um, cigar accessories, cigars. <coughs> uh, they even had luggage, um, I guess uh, travel, travel uh, satchels and totes and things. <coughs> Really, really neat. Uh, really neat store. I could spend hours in there. And I could spend a lot of money in there, but <laughs> you gotta, you have to uh, kind of pace yourself in there because it has so much to see. You can't see it all at once. So. I purchased two Savinelli's while I was there. The other one I'll show in another video. It's a beautiful pipe. So, but <clears throat> just wanted to do another video. I know it's been a, about a week since I did my last video. Um, and for everybody that subscribed and viewed it, thank you. Um, like I said, I'm still pretty new to the pipe community on uh, YouTube here, so really appreciate that, guys. Um, it was kind of kind of an interesting trip down to uh, Bloomington. Uh, we ran into some construction, and. Uh, We're in, in a traffic jam.
we're in a traffic jam for about oh I'd say 45 minutes or so maybe longer and my exit right before the traffic jam my exit was I don't know 800 yards away very close less than a mile and uh, we weren't moving and I couldn't get over to get out so what does a pipe smoker do in a traffic jam he lights up his pipe and enjoys the view I had people you could tell people were agitated and honking and upset not me I didn't I wasn't in no definitely wasn't in a hurry Light your pipe up and have some good conversation. So. But all in all, it was a <clears throat> really nice place. Uh, if you haven't got down there and you want to, you know, you're looking for a higher end uh, pipe retailer tobacco shop that's your place um, like I said they have just about anything you can imagine and it's called the Briar and the Burley it's on uh, it's right across from the uh, Monroe County Courthouse so it's right there on Kirkwood Avenue uh, I believe it's 101, Kirk, 101 West Kirkland Avenue, Bloomington. <coughs> wow. <coughs> While we were there, they have a uh, pretty nice smoking room. It's, it's sectioned off from the store. It's part of the store, but it's a, they have a door, you know, an entryway. It's, it's closed off where you can, that way it doesn't disturb the other shoppers, I guess. And uh, we went in there and I had a, uh, a bowl in my new Savinelli. My, it's a, it's a uh, billiard style, beautiful pipe. And uh, it's kind of funny, the characters you meet, uh, just the conversation and the things you learn while smoking your pipe is just, it's unique. There was an older gentleman in there kind of struck up a conversation with and we got into talking about uh, state pipes and I had showed him uh, a couple that I had restored which I, I still plan on doing a video on by the way and uh, he actually pulled out a very uh, similar pipe to the same one that I had restored and he'd had it for years and years so that was really neat to be able to experience that conversation with them so but. wonderful beautiful Friday morning here I don't know how hot it's supposed to get today but I'm hoping it stays cool So that's my <clears throat> little uh, story about my trip down to the Briar and the Burley. I plan to go back. It's a wonderful shop. Wonderful. <laughs> I 
you just don't run across any <coughs> you don't run across any stores like that nowadays and uh, it's really neat to be able to you know you walk in and you see the people that are working there they have a they have a uh, you know a passion for it you can tell that they enjoy what they do and they themselves are pipe smokers and uh, it just it makes it all that much better and I think <clears throat> mainly when you walk in you, you know when you go to a place like that that's what I think most pipe smokers are looking for you know they want a community a place where they can go and enjoy their enjoy their pipe get some of their favorite you know tobaccos and whatnot so but, yeah if you if, if you get the chance check it out it's a really neat store so Well, I'm going to finish this bowl here. Enjoy the rest of the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.